Okay, today's video is going to be on the Droid 3 and um, it's going to be on how to SBF um, if you are running the Android system uh, 5.7.906 and this is also on a Droid 3 that is the Droid 3 XT862. So make sure you're on the Droid 3 XT862, which is the Verizon Droid 3. And you are running, like I said before, Android version 5.7.906. And you can't use the normal SBF file, which is the uh, .890. If you're on 906, it will not work. So we use this one-click SBF, and I'll show you guys how to do it. So... First thing you got to do is, you're not going to be able to see this if you have a, have a problem, but just make sure you, you were on this before you do it, is go to About Phone, and in About Phone, under System Version, it'll tell you what version you're on. And just make sure you're on that version, you're not on the 890.890, and you are actually on the 5.7.906. And that is again XT. 862 Verizon. Alright, so as long as you're on those things, we're going to turn this phone off. Let's say like you boot looped, you bricked, whatever it is. Phone's not working. Um, we're going to shut this down. And I'm going to show you how to get into it to get it to work for you. So let's shut down here. Alright, so we shut off. So to get this thing to turn and get into the right mode to use this one-click SBF, we would uh, push the M button and hold down the power button. Alright, so now we're into this mode. Um, and what we want to do is uh, scroll down to A P Fast Boot. If I can get us there. I don't know, you might be able to scroll the volume button, I'm guessing. Yeah, the volume button scroll you. And then um, to select A P Fast Boot, I think it might be the. Well, let's try power. Um, nope, maybe we'll try enter. Hang on. It's got to be one of these. Oh, you know what it might be? My bad. I think it's up volume. Let's try up volume. Yep, it's up volume. So, now you want to plug in your USB cable into your device. Uh, if I can get it. Here we go. And connected USB cable data cable and everything should say OK over here on these uh, settings right here alright so it's actually installing my device drivers right now on my computer so let's let it do that and then once they're finishing installing um, we should be able to run the one click SBF file and I'll get into that here Hang on a sec. Also, you guys want to make sure that um, you have at least 50% battery or more. I think I had 75% um, before you start this process. You could brick it permanently if you don't. So definitely want to make sure you got that. Alright, so now that we're in AP mode, um, AP mode, AP fast boot, I'm sorry guys, flash mode. And it says down here that our battery is okay and our transfer mode USB connected. Once we got that right here on the, on the, on the phone. We're going to come up here to my computer screen and you're going to see this um, one and click USB. Or I should say one click SBF right here. And we're going to click on it. And actually we're going to actually click on it this way and go run as administrator. So this should open up the program and we'll see what we got here so click yes to that okay so this is uh, created by overlayer um, tells you not to duplicate it or copy it without permission I actually asked uh, him to if I can make this video and he said I could so I'm gonna go ahead and let's get into this um, so here's what we got right here 
and I just push OK and it starts doing it. Erasing user data, erasing cache, sending recovery, writing recovery, sending boot, writing boot. It just it's it's going through all the processes. As soon as you click OK, it's going to go through all these processes for you guys. Um, sending pre-install. So if you had um, Safe Strap on there or something like that, it's going to erase that and it's going to have a new pre-install in there. So Safe Strap will be gone. Um, let's see here, what happens? Let's uh, give this thing some time to run. Um, so again, like I said, just just battery. You want to make sure your battery's right. You want to make sure your drivers install correctly when you plug your phone in on USB. Um, and go through all those stop, those processes. Um, I may pause here if this thing's gonna just go through its steps and come back to it when it's done. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how long this takes. All right. Um, the computer here program just told everything to reboot, and it's rebooting device. Um, and then up here it says you can press any key to continue. So we're going to go ahead and push the space bar. Um, push space bar on here. And uh, there we go. So that was the done with the script. So now we're just going to let this thing finish. Now right here it's actually should be reflashing the radios. Um, that's why you're coming up to this screen on the phone. Once this finishes you should be able to reboot so let's let this little process finish right here of flashing the radios. It has to do it in recovery and that's what it's doing right here. So let's let this process finish. Shouldn't take too long. Alright, here we go. We're probably going to reboot again here. Yep. I think those radios should be installed correctly now. So let's let this thing boot up and see uh, what we have. If what what op, what version we're on, if we SBF correctly, we'll go go through it all. So pause probably again here for uh, loading up here. All right, here we go. This is your um, activation screen. So should just be able to go ahead and hit it and then go to activation. Um, my computer, or I should say this device for me right now, is not activated. So um, actually to go into activation isn't really going to work. So I'm going to have to bypass it. But you can see it's trying to do this. Let me get back out of this. Sorry, guys. Um, all right. So I think I should be able to bypass activation here by going around the corners. Yeah, that, that should do it. Alright, so that, that just bypassed activation uh, for me. Um, which is awesome. Because I want to show you guys this operating system. I'm see if I can get past this. Uh, okay, there we go. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Set up Wi-Fi connection. I, I'm just going to skip skip all this stuff for right now. Um, sorry, let me get past through this. This is basically, you know... All right, finish. All right, come on. All right, here we go. First boot up here. All right, should be ready to go. Okay, there we go, we're ready to go. All right, let's go into settings here. Settings, about phone. Sorry if this thing's kind of bright. Um, let me just make sure this is work though. All right, yeah, here we are. So our system v version right now is 5.6.890. So we've success successfully SBF'd back. I think our radios are still the new radios, but we are back and we recovered from a brick or whatever it was that messed you up in the first place, and you're back to stock. So that is how you do it. And, uh, yeah, pretty much it. That would be how to get your Droid 3, Verizon Droid 3. SBF back to factory stock from a brick or when you soft brick it or you messed it up, that will recover it for you. So just make sure that you're using, you're, you were on 5.7.906 to use this one-click SBF utility. Um, and thanks to Overlay Layer for uh, making this for us. Thanks, guys.